Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you did not know, my name is Robin and today is a vlog video because today I am getting my first bookish tattoo. If you saw the title of the video, then yes, I am getting a Gideon the Night tattoo. I am so excited because the artist sent me the design last night and it's incredible and just sort of like encompasses the book really really well I think. I've been waiting for ages to get a design done by this tattoo artist and the artist is Jambuki Tattoo on Instagram and she works from Liverpool. I'm very very excited today to go and get this tattoo. It is snowing outside and like three trades have been cancelled but we're gonna, we're gonna work with it all right we're gonna work with it and I'm gonna get this dumb tattoo today and yeah I'm really really excited so let's go. been almost a month now I will be showing you fresh pics from it and not on my my body because it's on the back of my leg first of all I want to do the biggest shout out to Jam Body Tattoo who you can follow on Instagram their name is Jamie but does incredible incredible work I had the idea of getting this tattoo and was like this is the perfect person to get the tattoo from I really like the art style and I think her art style really encompasses the book the tattoo studio was incredible it was lovely and everyone was super lovely and so it just made me feel super comfortable and at home. I've had this tattoo for a month and she is healing well, she still looks a little bit crusty because we're in the, the you know the beginning healing stages but uh, you know I, I think this is like my 11th tattoo so I'm, I'm used to it. The itchy stage is always the worst stage for tattoos. This is my tattoo. I've got so I'm obsessed with her. I really don't think a better job could be done. I really think that this tattoo encapsulates like the whole vibe of the book. I have seen like Gideon the Night tattoos that have been like super cool looking, like uh, realistic looking, but I think I wanted to go with like the cartoony style because it just really matched the energy of Gideon to me and what the, the book, even though it is like heartbreaking, what the sort of, how it encompasses to me, I really think that just this art style with, with what I wanted to do. And also a massive shout out also to uh, Jamie because I sent the most awful designs over. <laughs> I do art quite often and I'm not proud of these designs because they were done like quite quickly um, <laughs> on, on like Instagram Messenger basically. But these are the designs I sent over and I also don't think I referenced the book and was like, yeah, this is just out of a book and um, it'd be really cool to get this design. I didn't have like a specific font for the writing. I got the design for the tattoo the night before my tattoo just to make sure everything was okay and you know, nothing needed changing. But I had seen that they had put the text <laughs> as the text as that is on the title of the book. So these are both for the book for reference and what the tattoo text looks like. And I just thought like the attention to detail was incredible and I'm really, really happy with it. And it's my first bookish tattoo. I've been looking to get a bookish tattoo for a while. I wasn't sure whether I was gonna get a Song of Achilles, a Priory or a Gideon one, but I think I finally had like the, the money and the funds to put towards it. And I was like, this is it. This is the one that I definitely want. But yeah, I have a gorgeous, gorgeous Gideon tattoo now. Um, a book that has completely ruined my life. And I guess I wanted to be reminded of that pain forever. After finishing Nona today, I definitely believe that I made the right choice. Usually if I get tattoos, like I've got an El my Elton John one, I've got my like Florence one, that usually if I listen to the artist and I go, I need a tattoo of this, or I read something or watch something that is related to my tattoo and, I, and <laughs> my brain forgets I have tattoos and I go, I should get a tattoo of this. And then I realize that I have got a tattoo of it. That's usually a good sign of knowing that it was meant to be for me. So <laughs> reading Nona today definitely cemented the fact. I was like, damn, I should get a tattoo of this series. And I was like, 10 steps ahead, I already have. <laughs> if you have not read the Locktube series, the last book comes out in October. And it is a book that's very dear to my heart. 
just because it is I think one of the best books I've ever read and I don't think I've ever read something so fantastic as it and this is this is my tattoo video but this is also me trying to sell you on Gideon the Knife. It's super confusing, you will never know what's happening, you just know that you're crying and you're in love with like a big redhead lesbian sword wielder and you just want everything to be okay and it won't be but you know you enjoy it anyway so. <laughs> this is basically just a quick video to pop in and tell you where I'm up to. I'm currently planning on making some more review content. Thank you so much for Jambutty Tattoo. If you want to go find Jambutty Tattoo on Instagram it's jam underscore butty underscore tattoo and um, go and follow them. They have a really incredible work and just killed it, smashed it out of the park. I really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching this video and I shall see you next time. Bye.